The purpose of this video clip is to inform you and offer you ways to improve your everyday activities and make them easier to do. We will show you how to do each of the activities safely, step by step. We will suggest exercises that will improve your quality of life. Make them part of your everyday activities. Lastly, some of these helpful tips will benefit both the person affected and their caregivers. Parkinson's disease affects the posture, the muscle tone, and the quality of movements. The Parkinson's posture causes a decrease in walking speed, a shuffling gait with small steps, difficulty swinging arms, difficulty with turns, possibility of festination with the feeling of running after your gravity center, and blockage making you feel as if you cannot move forward. It is crucial for the affected person to adopt a good walking posture. When walking, straighten up. Look straight ahead to the horizon. Walk using the heel-to-floor method. Take big steps. Swing your arms properly. Keep your feet shoulder-width apart. If needed, use visual aids such as adhesive stripes taped to the floor to help widen the step when walking. Here is how you improve your walk with a series of exercises standing up. For your safety, do the exercises next to a wall or a solid surface such as a kitchen counter, a table, or the backrest of a chair without wheels. Wear flat heel shoes for greater stability during the exercises. In the upright position, look straight ahead. Roll your shoulders backwards. With a straight back, square your shoulders, hips, and ankles. Keep your feet shoulder width apart. Distribute the weight evenly on your two feet. Slowly go up on your tiptoes and come down on your heels. Repeat the exercise five to 15 times. Slowly go up on your tiptoes and come down on your heels. Slowly go up on your tiptoes and come down on your heels. Slowly go up on your tiptoes and come down on your heels. In the upright position, bend your leg and lift the knee as high as you can. Bend the other leg and lift the knee as high as you can. Go back to the initial position. Repeat the exercise. In the upright position, start walking and lift the arm and the opposite knee at the same time. Exaggerate the movement of the arms and legs while walking. Say out loud, left, right, or count out loud, one, two. At the advanced stage of the disease, choose bright colored shoes as a good visual aid with a Velcro closure. If needed, use technical aids such as a cane or a walking stick. Choose a backpack over a handbag for walks. Walk 30 minutes daily, alone or accompanied. The duration of the walk can be broken down in shorter periods depending on your endurance. 
Frequently remind yourself about big steps, heel to floor, and look at the horizon. Say out loud, left, right, or count out loud. One, two. We hope that these various tips will help you and your loved ones. When in doubt, please consult your healthcare professional. Enjoy.